you are. We're actually doing pretty well here. We have a couple of um, yeah. All right. Uh, I had a couple things I wanted to discuss about, and watching just uh, some of the previous speakers made me change my mind. But uh, there's two things. One, many paths to liberty. This was my original intended topic. Uh, merging into the second thing. When you move here, you're going to become part of a community. And it's like any other community you belong to. There'll be cliques, there'll be friends you have, there'll be associates you know, and then people you rarely see except at like big events like this. You know, we do live all over the state and the anarchists tend to hang out with more of the anarchists and the volunteers, political people tend to hang out with the political people. Events like this bring them all together. We see each other, we hang out, we have fun. Um, one of the most important things that people seem to forget as uh, pro-liberty activists, libertarians, liberty lovers is liberty means the freedom to be as big an idiot as you want to be. Ruining it for the rest of us is a phrase I've heard many times over the year. And I'd just like to say it's okay if somebody ruins it for the rest of us because it's what they have the right to do. You have no right to tell someone they can't do what they want to do. You can only tell them, as your friend, I think you may want to reconsider what you do instead of just whining that you're ruining it for the rest of us. Merging into the community topic. Seth was not tapped to run this today. He happened to be in the wrong place at the right time. <laughs> <laughs> Seth, do you have the ability to keep time? Yes. Oh, well, you're running sound off. <laughs> you may not realize how ad hoc the New Hampshire Liberty Forum actually is. This is not run by professional organizers. <laughs> this is run by a bunch of people who moved to New Hampshire and can do stuff. <laughs> One yeah. Person, charge Chris Lawless and he finds other people to put in charge like Kate Richards is in charge of volunteers my girlfriend is in charge of everything that everything that ever everything <laughs> other people work under them and people are just said we need you to do this it gets done people just show up and say how can I help you know uh, Miller and uh, Cooper have been running around doing all manner of stuff all weekend other people's children help out a lot. And just everything you see that's been going on here is just people who are part of our community working to put on this event, which from back in 2007, people did not realize we had absolutely no idea what we were doing. <laughs> Anybody who was here in 2007? Wow. Would you have guessed we just said at a summer camp camping event, hey, let's put on a winter conference. How hard can that be? <laughs> We did not know it was the first one. <laughs> uh, 2008, we moved here. That event was right before the primary. It was hectic. It was insane. We pulled it off. And we were worried with the economic downturn that this event might not be as good as it was. I think this is the best Liberty Forum we've had so far. The amount of people have shown up, the amount of interaction. This little sound off event. Just a couple of uh, weeks ago, somebody said, hey, why don't you just have a little thing where people can speak their mind? And people are coming in. Uh, some of the talks I've seen have been extremely excellent, extremely interesting. I have a feeling this is going to run for many more hours at the next Liberty Forum. <laughs> and uh, you know, if you see somebody wearing a red badge or somebody standing at a door and volunteering to help, just thank them. Like I said, the, the amount of planning to, that goes into this is staggeringly small. Uh, we kind of run a lot of this off the cuff, and the fact that we managed to pull it off every year amazes the hell out of me. That's liberty. <laughs> All right, thank you, John. Moving on, we're going to jump back to Patrick Sheehan. Patrick, you got to Well, earlier there was a woman talking about how there aren't that many women in uh, Liberty Forum or how there are fewer. And uh, I kind of noticed the same thing about that. Well, there are a lot of young people here, but there aren't a lot of really young people. So uh, there are there's sort of a disconnect between uh, like high schoolers and adults. And uh, uh, what I think a lot of people need to do is they need to like, talk to their sons or daughters and like other younger people they know 
and tell them to join them. Because uh, that's what the Republicans and the Democrats are doing. <laughs> And uh, young people are good volunteers, and I think they're like an untapped market for libertarians, because a lot of them, they feel the same way most of us do, but they, they just don't know where to go to like do something about it, and they, they don't know about this, so that, that's pretty much all I had to say, so I, I guess I have a lot of time left. <laughs> <laughs>